So you've decided to invest in a home golf simulator and you've looked at the Garmin Approach R10 and the fact that Home Tee Hero has 42,000 plus courses from around the globe on it. But there's one big problem. You can't use it in landscape mode, right? Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. And this is gonna be a real quick one today. I just wanna go over something that a really good friend told me about that he saw on Reddit. Now one thing I wanna do, I wanna give credit where credit is due. I'm gonna put up the original Reddit article here and it's got the author of that up at the top. The person who originally made this discovery and this post that I noticed through a friend who told me about it this is the person that deserves the credit for this. I want to make sure that they are recognized for this idea. It is not my idea. And it's a really simple and very free app. At the time I'm making this video, you can't take the Home Tee Hero simulation and do anything except project it vertically, but with this app. This app is almost like a little cheat code that allows you to turn it sideways, and it's not some gimmick. It's not something to where you actually turn the screen and you just read it sideways. No, this genuinely reorients everything on the screen into a landscape type projection. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. All right, to start, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna click the Play Store. Since I'm on an Android phone, you can click on the Apple Store if you're on an iPhone, but we're gonna search for rotational control. It auto completes for me here. Select the one at the top. And in the icon area here, you're going to see rotational control by Crate Myrtle at the top. We're going to click on that one. I've already got it installed. So with you, you'll have to actually download it and then start running the application. We'll slide over. We'll click to open the application, rotational control. In the menu, you'll see at the very top, to start controlling rotation, there's a slider. So you slide this over in order to get the rotational control to start working. As you can see right away, it's flipping my phone into landscape mode. Now, there are different controls within this. If you pull down from the top of the screen here, you'll notice that a little bar will come down from the top and it will show the, the sideways orientation, the vertical up orientation, all the different ways. So if we click the one on the far right, that allows me to toggle back and forth into landscape mode. This way, it'll kind of stay in a horizontal or landscape mode. You click to open the Garmin app in here. You can see all of your menu items. We'll go into the driving range to start here real quick, and we'll see how it looks on screen. Okay, here it is. It's in landscape mode on Home T Hero on my screen, coming from my projector, running off of my Android phone. Now, basically what I think this, this app does is that it takes the components that are on the screen and it reorganizes them in such a way. There are certain things you can pick up on and notice. For instance, this menu that's at the bottom down here that shows your, your different sort of controls that you can use on screen, that's normally in a dead space underneath where the grass and the, the tea and, and all of these things are. Now it's kind of overlaid on top. It's, it's actually covering where your ball is sitting right now. Now one thing you're going to notice, this is a negative I think, at the bottom where it says hole one, par four, it covers where your ball currently is. Now, also in flight, I mean, that's not a big deal, right? But in flight, watch this. I'll just hit sort of a punchy shot here. Um, this banner at the bottom is covering the ball flight. I can't watch the ball fly through the air. Not a huge deal, but it is a negative. I'll tell you one more negative coming up here in just a second. Let me, let me hit one more shot. Let's see if I can get it a little higher in the air. I'll hit a pitching wedge this time to see if we can get it a little higher and see if maybe my ball flight gets up and above this banner here. Nope, still nothing. All right, now let's talk about the big negative for me. To you guys, this, this might not be that big of a deal but I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. All right, let me get out of this, back out to the main screen. You can see that I'm still in horizontal landscape mode. If I pull down from the top, there's the bar for the application that's running. If I click this icon on the far left, which has sort of the two arrows going around it, but it looks more vertical than horizontal, that will take you to this main menu screen in the app. I hit the slider, I turn it off, 
Now, if I flip my phone vertically, it goes back to vertical. Close out the app, and I pull down from the top. You can see the application is not in the notifications that it is running. However, watch this. As soon as I turn my phone sideways, the, the whole screen goes landscape mode again. Even with the app not running, my phone still goes back and forth depending on how I tilt it from portrait to landscape. Now that might not seem like it's that big of a deal, but to me I worry about the battery running down because there's an application running in the background. The only way that I think you can stop this is to actually uninstall the application. I've gone through and actually uninstalled the app uh, before and it stops running. But if you just go through and force stop it in your settings, in your apps, it's still running even when you've force stopped it. So that's a little bit creepy and I have concerns about it draining my battery and always running in the background. And however I move my phone, the entire screen, including my desktop, orients itself according to how my phone is sitting. It's, it's not such a big negative. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. The fact that you can take the Home T Hero application on the Garmin Approach R10 and turn it landscape mode, that is a big deal. At the time of filming this video, you don't have that ability. Now maybe Garmin comes up with an update and they allow you to do that through the app itself without the need for the rotational control app add-on. But for right now, that is a big advantage to a lot of people out there who have been asking for Garmin to please do something about it and make it to where we can play Home T Hero 42,000 plus courses around the globe in landscape mode. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please leave me a like. Give me a thumbs up down below for this video. Hopefully it helps you and your experience with the Garmin Approach R10. Or maybe you have a friend that you can share this with that they could use this assistance with their Approach R10. A lot of people have been frustrated with the fact that this only comes out in portrait or vertical mode and they want to be able to use it horizontally and in landscape mode. This app allows you to do that rotational control. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I do all sorts of stuff to help out average golfers and I'll see you in the next video.